welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm gonna discuss a lot of different things and i'm gonna talk about ios 26 release date with many other things so watch this video until the end there is a lot to discuss now ios 26 rc is going to be the next update um if i go to the um build number of ios 26 on this device i am running ios 26 if i get to the build number by going into the journal um, about section and over here you can see there is a at the end of the bill number which means the rc update is going to be the next update so here are a few theories now many people do believe that we are expecting rc update on a uh, first of september which means after a couple of days but i personally believe we are not going to get on first september my theory is different and actually my theory is based on a bit of the history with the um uh, how apple being you know from last few years so i, I actually asked chat gpd to solve this problem for me and actually it brings ios 26 ios 17 and ios 18 details over here for the rc update now ios 16 rc was released on 7 september as you can see over here it is written over here and it was the same day when the apple event happened you can see iphone event was also happened on the 7th september which means on the event day rc was released now ios 17 was released on 12th of september as you can see and it was the same day of iphone event as you can see now if you go to the ios 18 ios 18 rc was released on 9th of september and apple event was also on 9th of september now this year we are also having the apple event on 9th of september apple that confirmed that their are dropping I iphone event is coming on um 9th of september that is going to be the tuesday and i believe they're gonna bring rc update on the same day so maybe they're gonna skip this week so this is my expected release date of ios 26 rc update what is your opinion let me know in the comment section below now I want to talk about what iOS 26 RC is going to bring. Now this video is for people who haven't tried out the public beta yet, who haven't tried out the developer beta yet. They are still using iOS 18. For example, on my this device, this is iOS 18, and iOS 26 RC slash iOS 26 is gonna change everything. It is it is going to be the biggest update in a decade or so, and it is gonna change your icons from flat icons to this glassy look icons now if i bring these new icons over here these are the glassy icons as you can see over here these are the flat icons over here with the ios 18 and ios 26 is gonna bring glassy icon actually a complete glass look as you can see and it is gonna bring a new lock screen that looks really pretty this is the old lock screen it is also a decent lock screen not that bad but this one is gonna be the new lock screen it is gonna be amazing lock screen i love the overall design of ios 26 and i am honestly really really excited about it now it is gonna bring clear icons many features are coming it is gonna change your um ios completely as you can see everywhere there is a glass element as you can see is the bottom if i bring this device over here and get into the edit section to customize this is a flat design the old design over here as you can see this is the new liquid glass design so everything is gonna change it is gonna be a biggest update of decade all new clear icons that can make the widget looks clear a very neat i like the design language widgets looks amazing as you can see over here and it's pretty it is really amazing no not only that it is also gonna change so many apps being very honest with you guys um, it is gonna you know take the design of apps to the next level if i just go to the app store of the both devices over here this is the old ios design and a flat look on the bottom and this is the new liquid glass design as you can see and this is how it looks like as you can see the liquid glass effect it's look really really pretty so if i talk about the design photos app is gonna change again I will be bringing out a full-fledged video regarding photos app that word is new now if i get to the only phone app phone app is also gonna change there are new things are coming 
there is um, a lot of stuff is going to come and in the even in the messages there is also new stuff is coming there is going to be a uh, background stuff um i message is going to change a lot if i able to show you like if i go to my one of the account and you can see a uh, backgrounds are coming in the i message there are a lot of options available with the backgrounds that you can choose for the messages and this is how it is going to look like looks really amazing so a lot of stuff is actually coming with the um iOS 26 so easily it is going to be the biggest update in a decade um we remember iOS 6 to iOS 7 shift this is the same shift iOS 18 to iOS 26 now where is iOS 19 why apple kill that apple actually want to follow the year name so iOS 26 is going to be for the whole year of uh, 2026 so this is why iOS is named after an year. This is the whole theory um, in the changing name and all that. And I I do agree with it. It is fine. Um, it makes more sense being very honest with you. Now, if I talk about how the battery life has been going on, because I have tested every other beta. I've tested. I started using iOS 26 beta one, developer beta one, and I tested out every other beta. First few betas were not that impressive, but but after like developer beta 5 we started to see a real smooth performance so far um developer beta 8 is out along with the public beta 5 i am using the both of uh, versions on different iphones and they are amazing performance is amazing battery life is really improved from the first beta and things are pretty cool so i am pretty much very much satisfied how the performance is going on i haven't faced any sort of crash or anything like that so I am pretty much very happy and excited about the performance. I know many people, um, main, the main concern of many people is going to be how is the performance from iOS 8 to iOS 26. How is the battery life? Battery life is one of the main concern. Honestly, battery life is very decent. It is really good. Even if I am able to show you some days the battery life so you can have the idea about it. Now, if I go to the battery usage over here. Let me go over here now. As you can see, I used more than 100% over here and I got 5 hours and 15 minutes screen on time. Now, main thing over here is I also use my this device as a personal hotspot as you can see. And personal hotspot actually consumes a lot of battery life. If I go to any other day, 93% and almost 6 hours of screen on time. And this is the oldest device to support um, iOS 26. This is the iPhone 11 as you can see. And even iPhone 11 is able to give me more than 5 hours um, on the latest de uh, version. It's, it is still in beta actually. So that is a good sign. And I'm pretty much very happy with how the performance is going on. Now I'm going to talk about more few things in this video. Actually what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to change how you I used to make videos. So I'm going to do that. So on my this device over here as you can see. I am running iOS 18.6.2 as you can see. And this is the latest version available and also Apple stopped signing iOS 18.6.1. So if you want to downgrade, well, you cannot downgrade. However, if you want to update, definitely you can update. And for the iOS 18, I believe the next thing is going to be um, iOS 18.7 RC. I already did a video about that. That video is available on my channel. Go to that ch my channel and check out that video. In that video, I talk about the iOS 18.7 RC update. I'm talking about the Apple event. That is actually a big thing. Or dropping Apple event is the next thing. Apple is going to release new iPhones. New stuff is coming. We are expecting iPhone 17. Um, 17 Pro and 17 Max. This time, we are not expecting 17 Plus. Instead, we are expecting a new iPhone. And that is going to be iPhone 17 Air. So there is going to be a complete new lineup for the iPhone. And I'm pretty excited about that. I'm also excited about the Apple Watch Series 11 and the new AirPods. So yeah, a lot of stuff is happening. And I am also planning to, you know, manage the live stream on the event day. If I'm able to do a live stream, that will be great. We will see. I'm not sure. I'm not like confirmed yet. But I really, really want to do a live stream on the 9th of September so we can watch the event and, you know, discuss a few things. Well, um, that's all. That's all from this video. 
what do you think about iOS 26? Are you gonna excited? If are you using iOS 18 and you're gonna switch to the iOS 26? Let me know in the comment section below. And one last question I want to ask you guys: Are you excited for the iOS 26 or you are excited for the iPhone 17 series? What you are excited most about? Let me know in the comment section below. This is all from this video, and I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until that, take care. Peace out.